Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Trail Tarot and I'm here with 2023 astrology readings which I'm going to call Astroscope okay so these are for January 2023 so we're going to do each sign and I want to thank you all for your support, your love don't forget to check out my Etsy shop where you can purchase readings my card shop where there's over 90 deck designs Check out my other channel, Soul Magic Inspirations, and my Patreon, just $5 a month, where there is exclusive readings on there. And when you join, you will receive a free reading from me as a thank you. Um, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my comment, uh, my content. Don't forget to leave a comment, even if it's an emoji. And press the like button, that would be great. It really helped my channel. So we're going to start off with Capricorn. So what does Capricorn need to know for January? What does Capricorn need to know? And I'll probably be doing the mid-month love reading. So I'm not focusing on love particularly. But we'll see what comes out. And um, we're looking at the general messages for January for Capricorn. So the highest light and love. Please advise Capricorn what they need to know for January. So we've got Eclipse in Libra, rebalance. Reevaluate relationships, justice and fair play. So yeah, coming into some sort of balance here. So this is within your own energy maybe and maybe a connection with somebody. We've got Aries, collaboration. Boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. So, yeah, I mean, maybe you're going to be coming into some sort of relationship. Um, it may be love. It may be a work relationship. We've got awakening. Eclipsing Aquarius. Your deeper resolve rises. So you could be going through some sort of awakening in January. What else does the Aquarius need to know? We've got Moon in Pisces, Wonder, follow your dreams. Wow. It's time to follow your dreams. We're going to clarify with the, the Tarot. Moon in Sagittarius, Discovery, Freedom and Adventure. And Sun in Taurus, Practicalities, Boost Self-Worth and Finances. So it looks like you're going to be doing work on yourself here. Okay. So let's clarify these energies with the tarot. I'm going to use the good tarot. So we've got rebalance. So I feel this is you balancing out your own energies. And it could also be rebalancing a connection with somebody. What's this rebalance about? We've got Ace of Earth, Ace of Coins energy. So there could be a new beginning here. A new start. It could be a work project or it could be a relationship. And we've got collaboration there. And we've got Page of Fire so there's passion here, there's passion coming in, um, passionate feelings or you're following your passion and we've got awakening there. got two of earth so i feel that she balancing out you know we said at the beginning about rebalancing balancing out okay the pros and cons maybe balancing out between head and heart what's the two of earth there we've got the hermit energy so you may need to spend some time alone here with that awakening energy to go within to balance out your own energies and we've got wonder there. So believe in the magic of life. Believe in the wonder. 
Follow your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. And we've got King of Fire. So you could be have a fire in your chart or you're connecting with a fire sign. Um, a King of Fire, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And he's, he's open-hearted. Look, you can see the heart there. He's enlightened as well with that sun around him. He's somebody very spiritually aware, very mature energy, very passionate energy there. We've got the magician energy. So I feel this person is a master manifester. And he may have man manifested this connection with you. Okay. So we've got discovery that. We've got ace of water, ace of cups. So it, <laughs> even though I try not to bring love into the situation with readings, it always seems to go there. It does look like there is a new beginning in love for you. I also feel that you're in that energy of self-love as well. And we've got practicality. So you're focusing on your financial, for love, financial stability. We've got the Hierophant energy. So, you know, again, maybe balancing out that spiritual life with the practical, um, with this Hierophant energy like spirituality. And also it could mean that this person and you, it could lead to a commitment there. What else can you tell us? We've got the strength card. So I feel that you have become very strong. You've overcome a lot here. Um, you're stronger than you think. You know, you're emotionally, spiritually, mentally strong. You're resilient. We've got the star energy. So I feel that you've been doing healing. Um, and once you've done that healing, you will be manifesting your desires with that star energy, which is fulfilled. Um, I think we saw that somewhere. And we've got the two of all, the two of cups. So there is mutual love energy here. Okay, there is mutual love energy. And we've got queen of earth. So this is your energy. Okay, so you are in that energy of groundedness practical loving nurturing wow and we've got the lovers card here so this is soulmates it feels like soulmate energy here and three of earth yeah we had that collaboration both wanting to collaborate to build something here i feel okay let's look at my life lessons messages What else can you tell Capricorn? Tell Capricorn. We've got enter conflict resolution. So this could be maybe this is somebody returning for some of you. Time to put down your burdens. Time to put them down. You've been through enough. Use your intuition to connect to you and your wisdom. And time to take a leap of faith. So it's time. Okay, and when we do that, you know, the universe will catch us. Okay, sometimes we need to take that leap. So let's get a final message for you. And then we're going to leave it there for Capricorn. We've got your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn energy, and I think there is a new moon in January um, in Capricorn. So it could be very significant there. So thank you for watching. Love and blessings. Take care.